Hello, music lovers out there. Welcome to another exciting installment of Music Theory, Grade 3, and we are in Week 8, brought to you by To Enable. Today we're going to be looking at tribes. We're going to be looking at primary and secondary tribes with key signature. Tribes. What are tribes? Trides are a group of three notes played together. They are also called chords. A chord may have more notes, but a triad has only three notes. Remember, tri means three. They are always built up in intervals of thirds, and they are built up on root, third, and fifth the root being the bottom note of a chord, which the third and the fifth is built upon. Any note in the scale, remember this, can be a root, but the scale degrees do not change. Let us look at our example. We notice in the example that there is no key signature meaning that everything that we're going to be looking at will be in relation to the C major scale. We look at the first one, which is built up from the C, and then a third above that will be a E, a fifth from the root, or a third, From the three or the third will be a G. The next one will be a F. A third above F will be A. Then a fifth above F will be a C. The next one will be G, a third above G is B, and then a third above B is D, a third above B and a fifth above G is D. Looking at the figure above, the triad is built on the tonic the subdominant, which is F, and the dominant, which is G. Primary triads. Primary triads are built on the tonic, the subdominant, and the dominant of the scale, meaning the 1, the 4, and the 5 of the scale. Those are called primary triads. Primary triads in major keys. All of them are major triads. And they are labeled with a capital Roman numeral. All of them. So one will be major, four will be major, and five will be major. Primary triads in minor keys. It's a little bit different. The tonic. And the subdominant are minor triads and are labeled with a small Roman numeral. The dominant, which is the five in a minor keys, will be a major triad. Why? Because of the raised seventh in the harmonic scale, which we'll be looking at. A little later. Then we have secondary triads. Secondary triads are built on the remaining degrees, meaning the two, the three, the six, and the seven. Secondary triads in major keys. We have the supertonic triad, which is the 
two median triad, which is the three, and the submedian triad, which is the six, and they are minor triads. Minor triads. The leading note, which is seven, is a diminished triad. A diminished triad will be labeled with a small Roman numeral because of the minor third interval from the root. Minor third interval suggests a minor sound. So even though it might not be like the other minor triads where the fifth is not altered, but because of the minor third from the root, it suggests a minor sound. That's why we label it with a small Roman numeral. We have also secondary triads in minor keys, which is a little bit different, where the supertonic, the two, is diminished along with the seventh. They are diminished triads. Remember diminished triads? We label them with small room numerals and also a little degree sign right over there. You see that degree sign that says it's a diminished. Then we have the submedian triad, which will be major. Which will be major. And we also have the median triad, which will be augmented. Augmented, we label it with a plus sign. Augmented triads are labeled with a capital Roman numeral. Why? Because of the major third interval from the root. Major third suggests major sound. So if we have a major third, then we know it gives us a major third sound even though the fifth might be altered. Figuring of triads. We must know how to figure our triads so that we can be able to communicate effectively to somebody who may be reading our analysis which we'll talk about later. We have two different tribes, or rather tribes, as I said, the primary tribe and the secondary tribe. Roman numerals are used to indicate different tribes. We've discussed that. Capitals for major tribes, small letters for minor tribes. Small plus sign to indicate augmented tribes small circle or degree sign to indicate diminished triads. Major triads or a major triad is built on a major third and a perfect fifth intervals. Minor triad built on a minor third and perfect fifth intervals. Study the table below. Let us study it a little bit. I've explained in the previous page that major keys, their primary triads will be 1, 4, 5, and they are all major. And in secondary triads, for major keys, it will be 2, which is a minor triad. 3 minor triad, 6 minor triad, and the 7th will be a 
diminished. Tried. Then in minor keys, primary tried, they're still the same. One, four, five. The difference is that our one and our four is minor, and then our five is major. Secondary tries, two and seven are diminished. Three is augmented, and six is major. Note, one, four, five will always be primary trides in both major and minor keys. Writing of trides. We must refer to our knowledge about intervals. We spoke about intervals. We learned about the different intervals to be able to understand the different qualities of our trides. The root tells us from which scale degree the triad is built. The third of the triad tells us the quality of the chord, while the fifth can be altered for diminished or augmented triads. The diminished and augmented triads naturally exist in the harmonic minor key. If the third is major from the root and the fifth is unaltered, then the triad will be a major triad. If the third is a minor interval from the root and the fifth is unaltered, then the triad will be a minor triad. The augmented triad only appears with the major third and the diminished triad only with the minor third interval. Below is examples of different triads written without key signatures. Always think in terms of the root as the major key. Always when we are constructing our triads, we must look at it from a major key perspective. Let us explore our examples. We will look at our first triad where it is built from C. And we notice that from C to the E, it is a major third. And then we can see that in C major, we do have a G, so the fifth is unaltered, which makes it a major triad. The same with this example over here. We have A flat. Remember our A flat key or our A flat scale? In A flat, do we have a C? Yes, we do. So this, the third is unaltered. It's a major third from A flat. And we know that in the scale of A flat, we have a E flat. So the fifth is perfect. The fifth is unaltered. That's why it is a major triad. Let us go to the minor triads with the same examples. We have the C. And we notice that from the C major perspective, our C we don't have E flat. So it is altered a half step, which makes it a minor third from the root. And then in C major, we do have a G. So the fifth is unaltered. Then it must be a minor triad. 
Let us look at the A flat again. We notice with the A flat that the C is altered by a half step. We have a C flat. There, there's the flat. We have a C flat. In A flat major, do we have a C flat? No, we don't. So that makes it a minor interval. Makes it a minor third interval. And in A flat major, do we have an E flat? Yes, we do. So it's a perfect fifth, which makes it a minor triad. Let's go to the diminished triad. Remember, the diminished triad only appears with the minor third. So, going back to the C again, there's our minor third from C to E flat. And then we have a G flat. So, we have a diminished fifth, which make this triad diminished. Then, let's look at A flat again. We know that in A flat, when we want a minor third, we must alter our third by a half step. So there's our C flat. And then, in this case, we have E double flat. So in A ma in A flat major, we have a E flat, which would have been perfect. But in this case, the E flat has been altered a half step below, which will make it a diminished triad. Let us look at the augmented triads. There we have a C. Remember that the augmented triad only appears with the major third. We know that this is our major third from C to E. And then our fifth has been altered by a half step up, which makes this triad augmented. Same with our A flat. It's got a major third. And look at that. The E has been raised, which makes it a natural E. In the perspective of A flat major, that means the E is augmented, which makes this tried and augmented tried. Thank you very much. Enjoy your day.